All right, a common question that we get is, if I install a new head unit, stereo, receiver, whatever you want to call it, um, are my steering wheel controls going to work? Well, they'll work, but you're going to have to get an interface kit. And we're going to show you how to, in this video, show you how to install, program, and set up the uh, interface kit. And we've got this brand new kit that, man, it's just really easy. There's no soldering, no programming. It actually self-programs itself. We'll show you the whole process. Um, so I guess the short answer is yes, you can keep your steering wheel interface or your steering wheel buttons, but you'll need to get an interface kit. So what I'll do is I'll cover the interface kit and then I'll show you actually how to install it and we'll just kind of jump in from there. Alright guys, here you're looking at the latest and greatest in steering wheel interface kits. Uh, the old days of soldering and programming are pretty much long gone. Uh, what I'm showing you here is the way that the that this package comes off the shelf. If you were to order this off the shelf, um, it would include this wire harness, this control module, and this wire harness. And I'll explain what each one of them does. Now, notice this one has a number of colors on it, and you've got to read the manual and fit, you know, figure out which color goes to your um, for your Toyota. And then this right here is actually a 3.5 millimeter jack, and this plugs into the back of your head unit, and this actually is what sends the signal to your new stereo. This one is used if you have a, a Kenwood, it's a Kenwood or a, a Eclipse. You would basically plug this into here and then this plugs into the head unit. So uh, we're actually going to show you a way to make this a lot easier because if you use this setup you've got to figure out which colors are which for your Toyota and then you've got to figure out a way to connect it to your Toyota. So what we do is we basically get rid of what comes on the shelf or right off the shelf and we include a different harness. Let me get that harness and I'll jump right back in. All right, now you're looking at a Toyota specific harness. This is going to work in your Toyota. What this does is this is a um, harness that plugs into the existing wiring for your steering wheel control. So you don't have to cut any of the wires. This simply plugs into here like so. This will plug into the existing wiring harness that uh, we'll look at in a minute. You have a positive and a negative and again the 3.5 millimeter jack that goes to your head unit. And this one, if your head unit, if your old, if your if Toyota, <laughs> let me say this again, if your Toyota has um, a 3.5 millimeter jack already in it, say in your dash that you used to hook your iPod up to, you can take this and we actually include a 3.5 millimeter adapter. So depending on what type of head unit you get, some will allow you to plug this straight in. Others you need to have, you need to convert this to a 3.5 millimeter. So we actually include a 3.5 millimeter conversion as well. So <clears throat> assuming you're, you've already got it, you can use this. If you don't have it, then obviously you're not going to use that function. So instead of figuring out what colors you have to mess with or anything, all you're basically going to do is hook up the positive and negative, plug this into the back of the, your head unit, plug this in, and you're pretty much done. All right, let me jump in the vehicle and show you how it's done. All right, so here you're looking at the um, dash taken apart in your Toyota. Now you can get to this point by going to our website. We have step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, some are pictures, some are videos. But uh, we can show you how to get here. It only takes like maybe five minutes to get the dash apart and get the head unit out. And what you're going to look for is when you're going to basically, these three wires or these three harnesses come out of the back of your uh, stock head unit. Now, if you purchased our dash kit, we include these wire harnesses and what these do is these actually plug into your new stereo. You simply match the colors if you see if you looked at the videos on how to install the head unit. Simply match these colors up. We include the crimp caps, everything you need to connect it. But um, these aren't included in the steering wheel steering wheel kit. I just want to show you how they work. You're basically going to take this connection. This plugs into here. You take this one. It plugs into oops into here. And then you know. This one is for the steering wheel interface, so now let me go ahead and plug that in all the way, just for grins. Okay, and again, that would simply go back to your new head unit. 
and this is going to go to the steering wheel interface. Now, if you have a JBL kit, again, oops, if you have the JBL, this, these plugs are going to be different, and of course, we have a different video section on JBL. This, for non-JBL units, this is what it's going to look like in your Toyota. All right, now, where did I put that? Here it is. Okay, here's the, uh, here's the Toyota-specific harness that we include. Notice it just slides right in there. Well, it's supposed to. Come on. Oops. Help if I put it in the right way. Slide right in. And then this, all you have to do is hook up this red wire to this red wire here. And again, this, you're going to connect this one, this one, and then of course the uh, wiring harness coming off your head unit. You're just basically matching colors. It's that simple. And then we're going to uh, attach the black to here and we include crimp caps for you. Um, let me see if I've got a couple. I think I do in here. Yeah. We're going to include a couple of these. I don't know if you can see that or not. And uh, what you're going to do is you're basically going to crimp. You've just got to connect the red to the red, the black to the black, and the unit has power. And then in this case we're using a Pioneer head unit so we simply plug this jack into the back of the head unit and your manual will tell you uh, exactly where to plug it in because a lot of head units will have a couple of um, 3.5 millimeter jacks on them. And again, if your current stereo, let me see where is it, here it is. If your current, uh, some of the, on some of the newer uh, Tacomas, I think it's 09 and up, maybe 10, um, you could, yeah, they had a 3.5 millimeter jack where you could plug your iPod into it. And these, again are included so you can make that work as well and, and that we may do a separate video on that I'm not sure it's pretty easy but if I get a lot of questions what well, we may do that just to make it easier but if you don't have a 3.5 millimeter jack already on your head unit don't even worry about these all right so that's basically it I'm gonna go ahead and get these crimped um, get the head unit back on and then I'll show you how easy it is to program I'll be right back all right so all I've done so far is I plugged in the positive from my let me see if I can see that uh, plugged in the positive from my control unit and then I plugged in the negative from the control unit and all I did was splice into the existing wiring harness again if you got our dash kit you got this wiring harness and you already know how to hook these up it's pretty easy now the next thing we did of course is we plugged in the harnesses into the existing wiring notice we didn't cut anything splice anything here is the um, stock wiring kit the steering wheel interface so the really cool thing is is if you decide to say sell the sell the car truck um, you can easily pull these out put your old head unit back in and take your stuff with you uh, just makes it a lot cleaner so if you're leasing the car you know you're planning on selling it whatever it just makes it a lot cleaner all right so now the next thing we're going to do is or the last thing we have to plug in is this 3.5 millimeter jack since we're using an alpine unit uh, alpine pioneer um, Sony, quite, I mean most of them use this 3.5 millimeter jack. I think only Kenwood and Eclipse require that other harness we showed you in the beginning of the video. So you're basically going to take your head unit and you're going to look on the back and here this one says WR which is for wired remote. I plug it in and we are, I want to plug in my, I unplug the harness to make it easier so I'm just going to go ahead and plug that back into the head unit all right so I've got the head unit plugged in um, I've got the power to the unit and then now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn on the car and I'm hoping you can see this you're going to see this flash as it self programs itself all you need to do is turn on the car the unit will self program and then I'll show you how to you um, how how well it works. All right, let me uh, grab the keys because I managed to leave those behind, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm really hoping you can see this, but got the keys, put them in the ignition. That wasn't good. <laughs> White windshield wipers were on. Okay, you'll see, you'll notice the unit is flashing as it programs itself. I haven't done anything, haven't touched anything. Give it a few seconds, the light turns solid. Now, 
what I can do is I can push my mouse. Oh. That beeping is my air ride suspension telling me that the airbags are low. Well, it's kind of funny because there's no air in the bag, so that's probably why. But anyhow, that beeping does not pertain to this. Okay, so now if I push my mode button, I don't know if you heard the beep, but the unit is now on just that quick. I just turn the volume down and obviously I don't have my AM FM so I'm going to push mode again. I know I've got a CD in there because I haven't hooked up the iPod yet. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I mean, you saw I didn't push anything, do anything, and this thing just self-programmed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle a little bit, and I'm going to show you how quick these controls work. If you've used the old version of the um, the old steering wheel controls, there was a lot of lag. I mean, you'd push the control like five or six times, and then maybe ten seconds later it would go. Well, this one's instant, so I'm actually going to show you. And I've got the head unit, or the head unit defaults to beep. Uh, obviously you can turn that off, but it beeps every time I push the arrow up, down, or change tracks. So let me change the angle of the camera, and then I'm going to show you how quickly it works. But that was it. Plug it in, connect two wires, and you're done. Uh, it's programmed and ready to go. Now I'll show you how, to, how it actually works. So I'll jump right back in here in a second. Okay guys, I changed the camera angle so we can take a look. Um, here you're looking at, obviously, the... Uh, uh, Volume up, volume down, track up, track down. So watch this. That quick. See, there's no lag. It's that instant. Now, if I want to go to the next track. We have some dance tunes on here. We have the, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this truck. It's pretty tricked out, 8,500 watts. So it, it gets pretty loud. By the way, that's only a couple of the amps. The other four amps are not even turned on. But anyhow, uh, you can see how quick that works. I just wanted to show you guys. I mean, it, it took all but a few minutes to plug, you know, to program it. There's no, you don't even have to read the manual. Now, if for some reason the unit doesn't self-program, uh, we'll, we'll leave the PDF up on our website and it shows you how to set it back to default. I, I've done about 15 of these so far and I've actually had one that didn't self-program. I read the manual, set it back to default, and it worked just fine. So, I mean, there's probably a chance it may not work, uh, but 1 out of 15 times is a pretty good success rate. All right, guys, I hope this helps uh, answer your questions on how to set up the uh, steering wheel interface in your, in your Toyota. Hey, guys, I thought I would show you the uh, head unit itself. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually push the button so you can see how quick it works. Watch the volume. I mean, it's like almost instantaneous. It's I just wanted. To, we've actually swapped out a couple of the old um, steering wheel interfaces for some customers.